Well, hello again, everybody. It's Bill here, and I'd like to welcome you to Cracker, Cracker Cup, Cup Challenge, Challenge number, number seven. Seven. Seven, 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 seven. So sitting on top of the cup there, you can see our route for the day. It is struck. Uh, before we get into its meaning, we'd better make sure we're set up and ready to go. So you'll need two sharp pencils or a pen. You're going to need a whiteboard marker and your Word Cracker student whiteboard or your normal student whiteboard with sections set up for prefixes, roots and suffixes. You're going to need your Word Cracker recording sheet and like always a writing book for when we write our stories a little bit later on. Okay, so let's have a look at our new route for the day. Our new route for the day is struct and struct means to build. Struct means to build. Can you please turn to the person next to you and in a full clear sentence, Take turns telling each other that struct means to build. So there we have our first word containing the root struct and it is a verb and it is construct. It's a verb because you can do it. So construct means to build thoroughly or with. So the struct is the build bit and the prefix con is the thoroughly or with. And there we have an instruction manual. So the next word is instructions. Now instructions are a noun and these are something that help us in the act or state of building. So that suffix ion means act or state of. So that's where that comes from. So instructions, something that helps us in the act or state of building something. And then we have a word which is, it could be considered the opposite of construct or construction and it is destruction and destruction is a verb and it is the act or state of building down or unbuilding so that prefix de is the down part uh, struct obviously is the building bit and ion is the act or state of so that's destruction and then we have a charming little fellow here with his finger right up his nose obviously trying to clear an obstruction from his nose. So an obstruction is also a noun, and this is a bit trickier to think about the meaning of this one. An obstruction is something that works against the building of something. So if you think about it, there might be a big booger up that nose that is working against the airflow. But you see, that's not really about building, but we it is completely appropriate though to say that if something blocks your nose, it is an obstruction. So that one's not as clear to understand, but you kind of get the meaning. Yeah, and uh, that's just completely unnecessary and gross. Okay, so it's time to fire up the word cracker now. So we'll just go to the word cracker. There we go. We need to uh, turn on all morpheme mode. Let's go full screen. There we go. We're going to have our meanings on. And just for a little while, we'll have a patterning on too. So let's pull down struct just to check that we can just add any suffixes to it. And we can. It's one of those safe VCC endings. And the just add tick is up. So anything we're building today, we don't have to worry about dro doubling, dropping, or changing. So we'll turn our patterning off. Okay. So today we're going to do this uh, in a different way to what we've done previously. In the past, I've just given you the whole word and I've asked you to build it and then shin it for your teacher. Today we're going to go to the next level. So today we're going to try and build our words from meaning. So let's do an example together so I can show you what we mean, what I mean. All right, so if I asked you to build me a word which means to build thoroughly or with you would hear the word build and you'd bring down struct. But then you'd think thoroughly or with. Ah, is there a, mm, an affix? And you would go for the prefixes here. Thoroughly or with. Oh, here we go. We would make construct. There's our meaning with or thoroughly and struct means to build. So if I asked you to build a word that said to build thoroughly or with, you would make construct. But to do that, you need to understand the meaning of this prefix con. So, so this will be a bit difficult in the beginning uh, and this will be tricky until you start to get your head around the meanings of these prefixes and suffixes. But here we go, let's dive in. Okay, so can I please, get, can I please ask you to build me another word 
which would be something that helps us in the act or state of building. Something that helps us in the act or state of building something. So we've got struct there. Something that helps us in the act or state of building. Right, if you have grabbed prefix in, something that helps us in the act or state of building, we've got instruct. And now I'm going to go to the next level. Um, something that helps us in the act or state of building in or into. So you're looking for a suffix about act or state of. And if you have grabbed suffix ion, you've got it. So now we have something that helps us in building, and it's the act or state of. And now let's make it plural. Let's make it more than one. All right, so if you've grabbed suffix s, and, or, or if you've written suffix s, you should have instructions. So more than one thing that helps us in the act or state of building something. If you haven't written that on your whiteboard, can you please write instructions on your whiteboard and shin it for your teacher? Okay, well done. So that was a bit tricky, but let's push on. All right, can I now please have you build me a word that means to build? It's got its base word around build. So there's struct. Good, we, we, we're set to go with that. This word will be the act of building down, the act of building down. Okay, so if we reverse build this, the act or state of, or the act of, we've got I-O-N, so we've got struction at the moment, but that's not a word. We also wanted, uh, there was another piece of meaning, it was the act or state of building down. So can we find a prefix which means down? And there we go. If you've used prefix de, you've got it and our word should be destruction. Can you please make sure you've got destruction on your whiteboard and chin it for your teacher? All right, now the last one is going to be an absolute doozy. Okay, so We'll give you a head start. We're going to make sure we've got struct in the middle because this is about building. I would like you to make me a word which means not able to pull down. Not able to pull down. So I'm going to give you a clue. This is going to have two prefixes. And it's going to have a suffix. Not able to pull down or build down. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start with prefix in, which is our not able to. So if you have a look, prefix in has a few different meanings, but I'm interested in that first meaning not, not able to pull down. Um, so let's, let's just, we know we need one more prefix, but I'm going to skip over to the suffix bit because I said not able to pull down. So we're going to grab suffix A, B, L, E. Okay, so there's our able. So we've got instructable. So we've got our meaning for not, our meaning for build, and our meaning for able to. But we need something, we need, a, we need another morpheme for this um, down bit. So not able to be built down. And this is our prefix D. So we have built the word indestructible. Can you turn to the person next to you and say indestructible? And then make sure you have it on your whiteboard. Uh, cracker whiteboard. Off you go. Write it and chin it for the teacher, please. So there we have it. Indestructible. Not able to be built down. All right. That's fantastic work, folks. We're going to do that on all Cracker challenges from now on. So teachers, you might want to go and grab, if you're not doing it already, you might want to from the, um, uh, the back of the Cracker manual, or it may be up on the paid part of the Cracker um, uh, website, I'm not sure, but there are um, flashcards or uh, morpheme drill cards where we can quickly, using a drill like we do with our phonics drill, get the meanings of our affixes into students through a, through a drill and repetition task. All right, 
So that would help from now on. All right, great. Let's clear that. Or we can leave it on there uh, and go back to our PowerPoint. Okay, so the bit you've been waiting for after that hard sweat of building uh, these struct-based words around meaning, we are up to Cracker Challenge Part 1. So can you please make sure you've got with you your Cracker recording sheet? And it is going to be your task to build or construct as many words as you can containing the root struct as you can. Now, teacher, you're going to decide on how long they've got to do it. And teacher, you are also going to decide whether students can be looking at the matrix for struct while they do this or not. So when your teacher is ready to start the timer, it is your job to construct as many words as you can with the root struct. Okay, so how did you go? Uh, teacher, can you please use the hand up protocol to find out as quickly as possible who is our leading student? And then, then teacher, it's your job to decide whether the challenge protocol will be bought in or not. Okay, let's move on to Cracker Challenge Part 2. This is where we take the words that we have built in our Cracker recording sheet, plus some others we heard from our Cracker Cup winner, and we make a story using as many struck words as we can. So this goes in the book. Now, uh, see that little fellow sitting at the table? I want to make sure that all of you, please, as you write your stories, are sitting properly in a seat with your back straight, where you're leaning slightly forward, and your feet are on the ground. We don't want to be lounging all over the place because we need to have the right body correct or the correct position to write properly. Okay, so teacher, you're going to do a few things. You're going to decide on how long they've got. You're also going to decide on the scoring. So teacher, can you please take a moment to decide what your points will be given for and either mark up the screen or find another way for your students to work out um, how they're going to construct their stories to earn as many points as possible. Okay, so Matrix is up if the teacher wants you to see it. So you have uh, whatever time you're to see it, your teacher decided on to construct a story with as many struct words as possible off you go. Okay, how did you go? Time to score your stories. This can take a little while, but uh, your teacher has your point scoring up. So off you go. Let's see how you went. And now the bit you've been waiting for, oh, I'd love to hear some of the stories that people wrote. Uh, so I instruct you to listen with manners while others share their struct stories. Well, everyone, that's the end of our uh, Cracker Challenge session on Struct, which means to build. I hope you have a cracking day. Thanks for watching.